All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another news video. Today we have a lot of really cool stuff, a new bank pet, a new flame cape like the one I'm wearing, and a bunch of Cyber Monday, Black Friday uh, items coming to Adventure Quest Worlds. A lot of stuff in this video. Let's get into it right now. The following video contains scenes of awesome. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. Um. <laughs> uh, we find out the name of a brand new class in this video that no one else knows yet. So uh, definitely look out for that in the video. I know it's a long one. Thank you guys for watching. Enjoy the video. Hopefully everyone's having a great day on this lovely Thursday. Our first news story is Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. 2016 for the United States, of course, Canada already had theirs uh, in October, I think, is our Thanksgiving. I don't know. I don't really keep track of that stuff, but uh, the United States Thanksgiving, of course, uh, Arctic Entertainment is from Florida in the United States, so uh, they're doing a full-on event for Thanksgiving. It'll be, the event will be on the 23rd, and it will include a war. Once the war meter hits 100%, you'll face the Roar Gobble, uh, the Greedy. War Gobble, the Greedy. Okay, so I said that wrong. It's not the War Gobble. It's just War Gobble, the Greedy. Uh, log in on Friday, on Friday and Monday for Cyber Monday and Black Friday. So Cyber Monday, Black Friday are only, who it's eight days till Black Friday and 11 days till Cyber Monday. So we're getting very, very close. Less, almost a little more, not less, a little more than a week till Black Friday in Adventure Quest Worlds. Uh, we'll touch more on Black Friday later on. So, uh, confirmed. We have a confirmed, a confirmation. If you keep up with the news for AQ like I do, uh, you'll know that this was tweeted out from Dage a while back, uh, a few weeks ago maybe, and it has now been confirmed that it's actually the counter class uh, for AQW. So, this will be the counter class art for 2017, the new calendar that will be on Hero Marts probably soon. So, just a good confirmation. We are, I already expected, I expected it to be, uh, but it's good to get a confirmation. More news from Dage the Evil. Uh, he, okay, so there's a little bit of context here I have to make. So if you want to know more about this dark caster that I'm about to talk about, check out my last video I uploaded uh, yesterday. We go over all the Cyber Monday items and also the news of a dark caster coming on Black Friday. Um, it's not confirmed news, not even a little bit. This actually deconfirms it even more that this might not happen. It's sad. I wish it would happen. I'm sure everyone does, or most people do. I've seen a few people have said, no, don't bring it back. They're probably the people that have the original Dark Caster. But, so it got pretty far along. Uh, uh, Krulong, or Krul someone said his name was pronounced Cruel. Uh, I, I don't get how you get that pronunciation. I think he's French, uh, judging from the name. Um, I don't know actually yet, just making an assumption, but he uh, offered to do it, but he needs Dage's permission. Dage says it won't look anything like the original. We shall see. Smiley face. So uh, when I woke up this morning, I went to check on this, and there was a tweet here, a reply, well, a reply tweet uh, from Dage uh, saying that he asked, he was sent a message to Elena to ask if they could do it. Uh, and they needed confirmation from Elena before anything could go forward. That tweet has been deleted. I wish I got a screen cap of it. I have no proof of that actually existing. Um, but I did see it this morning. I'm pretty sure I did. Uh, so, and if someone, if that's still on the internet somewhere, if someone can find that, whether they have a screenshot or something, uh, some way of finding that tweet, that would be nice. Uh, please comment that down below or tweet at me on Twitter. My Twitter link's below the video. Uh, so there was a tweet that said he was going to ask Elena, or Dage was going to ask Elena, because of course they work in the same building, uh, if they could do the Dark Caster for this Black Friday, and that tweet's been deleted, so that would probably mean that it's not going to happen. Or it could mean it is going to happen, and they're just building hype for it. I, I don't know. I, you're going to take of that what you will. To me, it kind of feels like it's not going to happen, uh, but it could go either way, honestly. I'd really like to see the Dark Caster come to Adventure Quest Worlds, but uh, it's not looking too good at this point. Cyber Monday, a house for Cyber Monday, 
could be Black Friday. It's mm, Cyber Monday. It is dark, but not it's not black. So it's Cyber Monday, uh, the Matrix Vacation House. Uh, we have two screenshots of the exterior and interior of the blue version. There's two versions confirmed for this so far. Maybe there'll even be a uh, purple or yellow version also. We have the green version. Of course, these are the same houses. At least, actually, they might be different. Because if you look, it's kind of like a matrix texture on that one. And this one just has like a, like a blocky texture. That's weird. These might be two different houses, but they're different colors. Uh, like, if you look at that wall and you look at, like, that wall, they're very different. So these could be, these are definitely two different houses, of course. I think they're, they have the same name, though. So maybe they're the same house. Ah, you can take of that what you will. Uh, two different houses for Cyber Monday. Uh, they'll probably be 2,000 adventure coins. And someone's going to ask, hey, Corey, how much are those going to be? Probably 2,000 adventure coins. That's normally the price on a house. Could be a little bit more expensive. Could be a little bit more cheaper. Uh, we don't know. So uh, the LQS, the Lumen Quantity Shop, that's what LQS stands for, um, is going away on November the 30th. So you only have... Uh, a week and a few days uh, roughly yeah roughly two weeks uh if you want to get uh, the new champion of light set that came out i did a full preview of that if you want to see that on my channel this video for it and uh yeah so the champion of light and uh there's 25 of those left i'm probably not any left at this point is there any left 23 of those left so yeah you can check out the limited coin shop there's a few cool items in here i got the uh bright griffin very cool. And this house is actually really nice if you don't have a nice house. Although, it's only 1,000 ACs, so that might actually be the price of this house. This house might be 1,000 ACs. If it is, I'll probably get it. So that's a good price for it. So yeah, Lumen Coin Shop's going away. Thought I'd point that out. So this uh, Friday, the event this Friday. I think this is this Friday's event. I might be wrong. Sometimes they tell us what the week after this week's event is before this week happens, and I get that mixed up sometimes. Uh, but I'm almost certain that this is this week's event we have the slash join here uh, so sometimes on, if you go on a testing server or something and you want to slash join that you can get into the event a little early i've done that a few times uh have I done, yeah i've done that or like they updated on the live map like a little a little bit before it's actually out before they announce it so uh the slash joins there and also uh we get that there's going to be rare gear featured in the November shop. So there's going to be rares, which is good. Along with uh, some map all new reward items from monsters. So a few drops and a few other stuff. So some of the rares would consist of items like this armor, uh, the helmet, and this bank pet that's running by. So that's the bank pet running by. I actually have an in-game screenshot. Let me grab that really quick. I'd like to point out that uh, Elena's character page has a hairstyle I've never seen in game before. It might be an old hairstyle, might be a new one. The hairstyle is called Surprise Face. Oh, that is the face that is right here. Oh, detective work. We're doing detective work today on the news, boys. So that face is right there, right? So this is probably a helmet that's going to come out. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right, I'll, I'll find that bank pet. I think I have a file downloaded somewhere of it. No way. No way. Oh, this is why I love checking character pages. Oh, this is happening live. I, I'm taking a screenshot of this right now, but, uh, oh, Reens is rocking the new, oh, calendar class. Whew. Look at this. Look at it. Oh, that looks dope. I wish the color was different. That brown color. I really don't have any good items that go with brown, honestly, but I don't think anyone's going to be wearing the armor. Uh, so I'm just gonna, I'm sorry, I'm trying to line this up. This is a rare opportunity to get a armor like this before it's even out. Oh, whew, so look at that. Reens has got the new set on her character looking good. Whew, Shadow, it's called Shadow Walker. We have the name. We have the name. Oh my God, this is live. This is really live right now. Get a screenshot of that. Okay, so the Shadow Walker Counter class, you heard it here first, guys. First person to come at you with this news. The counter class for this year is called Shadow Walker, and I literally just found it a few seconds ago. Moving on to that bank pet. All right, I'm here with the bank pet. This is what it looks like in game. Of course, it has an animation on it. If we go and look, so this is the size of it uh, next to a character in game. 
Um, we shit. Okay, so that's what the end game. So it'll probably have a flame animation going up and down out of it. Uh, when I went to Elena's character page yesterday, there was no animation on it, so they're probably adding the animation in game uh, so far. Uh, so there's the running animation in game right there, and well, not in game, but that's the running animation, and of course the flame animation coming out of the head. Uh, there'll be a new surfboard and a few other items, of course. Uh, very, very cool event coming out tomorrow. God, I can't believe that we found the calendar class before they even announced it. That's insane. All right, so really okay that's really cool um Yermi's getting married uh so congratulations to her she's watching this i don't know maybe she is uh but uh go say well she doesn't i look for a twitter uh couldn't find it i don't think she has a twitter well uh, 2016 oh, okay um it uh there's at least going to be at least and least is at least is uh capitalized which means there's probably gonna be more uh, so an internal flame in the wedding colors and a wedding cake pet. So I'm using an internal flame right now in game. Uh, it's not actually an internal flame, but it's using the same animate, the same or similar animation. Uh, so I have an internal flame on the wiki here. So this is what it is. Uh, these are for people's weddings. It'll have Yermi's colors. I don't know what Yermi's colors are. Uh, it'd be nice to know if anyone knows please leave a comment down below uh, what Yermi's colors are But we'll have a flame an anime a cape. I think they're 2,500 ACs is the normal price of them So that will be in game. It looks like this on my character right now uh, Very very interesting stuff. That's my Twitter. Thank you guys for watching this very interesting interesting one second one second here very, very interesting episode of the Adventure Quest News episode. It's not an episode, it's a TV show. Welcome to YouTube. Uh, hopefully you guys leave a like for the early access to this news. Um, no one else has this, just me. I'm happy, happy, happy to share it with you guys. Uh, thank you for watching the video, guys. Uh, comment down below what you're most excited for. There's so much stuff to be excited for. And uh, yeah, don't get too hyped over the new Dark Caster because that might not be a thing. Um, but let's leave on a positive note. Shadow Walker is a class and it sounds really awesome. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace. Welcome to the outro of the video. If you haven't seen my last video, it'll be in the top right hand corner of your screen. Go ahead and click the card up there. That'll bring you to the last video. Follow me on Twitter, or Facebook, and Twitch. I stream on Twitch sometimes. I post a lot on Twitter. If you don't want to contact me, my DMs are always open on Twitter. So you can feel free to contact me there. And Facebook is where I post all my videos. So if you use Facebook and want to keep up with my videos, following me there is definitely a good thing to do. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.